Where are we, Ruth? Trenton Gardens. That's where we are. And we're starting this and people are walking up behind us and it's the first time that we're trying to vlog. So we're going to carry on walking this way and I'm going to turn you around. So you can have a look at the garden. And if it's bumpy, it's Ruth's fault. All of it is Ruth's fault. Never my fault. It's always her fault. It's not. Yep, look at the guilty face. Look at the guilty face. <laughs> Trying to get through. Ruth's being sneaky. <laughs> She's trying. She's trying to hide. See? Spot the roof. Oh, look at these. They're gorgeous. I do want one for my house, but no one put it on. Yeah. So this is kind of like, I'm guessing, sort of wisteria type lane. I'm not going to film too long because I don't want to film people. And then there's Ruth. I've been having this drama with pigeons all day. See, now these ones aren't even bothered about me. Not having about food. Yeah. But so far I've had about three pigeons give me the stink eye for even existing. Well, I feel that's a little harsh. Not here for us. They are hostas. It's in the H room. Oh no, these, these are slug and snail friendly. They love the damn things, but they are pretty cool. Nice when they flower as well. See, see, look at Ruth's sensible footwear. Yeah, yeah, well, I outdid Ruth on the sensible footwear front. Look, walking boots, mainly because I couldn't find my sandals. <laughs> Otherwise I would have adorned those. Greenery, picnic table, roof. <laughs> Weirdo. Yeah, I know. Can I help that? Well, I mean, you could, but you don't want to. I, I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse. <laughs> right. I'm going to turn it off for a minute. So okay, guys, so you'll get my audio, but never see me. So Ruth's going to play me. Oh, yeah. Today's featuring is Alison, otherwise known as Ruth. Um, so she will be the person mostly in this video, which makes me feel a lot more comfortable and her on edge, which makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> and, as you said, we are at Trenton. Yep, Trenton. Garden. I always want to say Trenton or something. Trenton. Oh, look at the duckies. That dog's going to have a field day when it comes around. So we have our traditional English male mallards, which I don't know if they are English, but they seem to be around a lot. Um, yeah. So the green ones are the males and the little female right there, the brown one. It's like a harem. It can get pretty vicious in mating season though. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. oh my god, the sun's out. No. Look at it. I can tell you right now, I do the exact opposite. I'm like, umbrella, umbrella. Exact. <laughs> um, so we've got quite a few people walking around the park and walking behind us in front of us and I'm new to filming, so I don't really like doing that. Though strangely enough, I'm quite happy to talk to myself when people are around either ways. But filming it seems to make it inappropriate. <laughs> um, so we're now going to head towards the lake because unbeknownst to you, because I didn't film this, 
Look at those poppies. Sorry, I get distract distracted easily by colour. But unbeknownst to you guys, we've just had the best and biggest waffles and biscotti portion. So we've now got to go and walk that off because I'm going to be sick. And Ruth reckons if she got in the water, she'd sink. It's not a good way to go. I would just like to let you know as well, Ruth is wearing one of our my new designs. Aren't they pretty? Yeah, I get free advertising as well as getting her birthday presents also. Look at that texture. That is pretty. Yeah. Did that on a card. Good idea. Good idea. You'll pay when you get home. I do I I was saying to Ruth earlier, I'm missing painting. It's been a while since I've actually done anything um, so we, we do need to sit down even if it's like on one of, when we're doing our cards and stuff and actually paint some stuff would be nice so I'm gonna go silent again and just film for a while and you guys can either enjoy that or chill, chill with me on the <laughs> Caution, trains crossing. She's on caution. <laughs> I would like to point out, we're going to show you the size of the tracks right now. I mean, we're in for bad times. If this train comes, there's no way of getting out of the way of it. <laughs> which I will show you in detail in a minute because who doesn't want to look at the bird feces? And Ruth is just mortified and also not shocked in the slightest. <laughs> so hang on a second. So I promised you first hand, excellent quality bird poopy. There it is. How do you feel about that Ruth? Disgusted. <laughs> but not. But not shocked or no. faced by me doing that. How lovely is that? Look at the sky. It's like the perfect weather for me. I've still got, it's looking a bit cloudy over there, but Ruth is tanning nicely, as we can see. She's actually getting quite tanned. Change. Uh, I am still as pasty white and sort of a multitude of skin colouring with the freckles and everything. But I am smothered in factor, anywhere between factor 30 and factor 50 at all times when it comes to the summer. Um, just because I don't, I don't tan. My freckles mass together and create something that looks similar to a tan. And you are a redhead also. Yeah, and, it, and I burn. It's uncomfortable. It's, it's not nice for me. Um, so that's what's happening. She's nice and tanned. I'm not so nice and tanned. The reason I like this weather is I can still get sunburnt in this weather because it's UV um, even though you've got cloud cover. Oh, she's found something. Just I thought she'd go towards the bin then. Ooh, look at those big fuckers. Nice little leaves almost look like wet paper. Mm. Or very dried paper. Mm. <gasps> We're waiting for the pedestrian to go across, but there's going to be baby goslings. <laughs> now, Dad has already recognised that I'm filming them. Can you see him? Mm -hmm. He's on alert. So we're going to calmly walk past them. Because <laughs> losing her mind because of the fluffy goslings. You see the shit? I didn't see the shit, but I've got it on film, so <laughs> check that later. Oh, lovely. Hmm. Family outing. The rest of them are over this side, all chilling out. 
I should have really filmed my walk to work the other day because there was a field with all kinds of geese in it and then there was like a mum that had six goslings and they were doing really well. These birds I particularly have a very intimate love of and you all know why because not only are they beautiful but they're cheeky and they're very very clever. So you and a bird. Oh, thanks. <laughs> It's probably the first and only time anyone's ever called me clever. Not let alone very clever. I'm impressed. <laughs> they've obviously found something very intriguing because the moment we pent past, they've got straight back on it again. Obviously, it takes a bit of grass. Yeah, so basically, me and Ruth are very new to this whole vlogging malarkey, but we want to do it because we do go quite a few places and we want to adventure off and show you guys where we're going and give you a bit of different content. Because as much as I like doing the clothing hauls, I can't afford to do the clothing hauls all the time. And we do go to some absolutely stunning places. I want you to all witness this. <laughs> Visually witness. Ruth <laughs> is losing her mind. You see fluffy <laughs> goslings and that's what happens to you? Our walks out gives us inspiration for our items. That's very true. Yeah, that's very true. I just couldn't speak to see? She's so articulate. <laughs> She's like, sure, you're special. <laughs> oh, you're always special. In the good ways. This is coming from me as well. <laughs> you know, I tend to do some very strange things. My mum walked into my room this morning and I was chatting to myself about something. I can't remember what it was. I think it was about the dress I was thinking of wearing. I was like, look, I'll wear this one. I'm going to need to put that with it. Otherwise, there's going to be chub rub issues and I want to be comfortable. So, I love it when there's little islands in the water. Oh, oh. They're actually formed. Oh, okay. This is a built lake. And, it's no, just... and the islands have appeared. Nice. See, you always, I don't know, this isn't maybe true of everybody. But I always get the overwhelming urge, if you've ever heard of Amazon, Swallows and Amazons, I think it is. A yeah. um, bit before my time, but at the same time, one of my mum's favourite films. You always get that urge, you know what I mean, to go and explore the island. Don't always do that. If anybody watches, I think it's Mr Baldwin. No, I'm going to call him Mr B. Either way, so if you ever watch those, don't always go and expl explore the islands, guys. Don't always do that. There's some bad endings for people that went and explored the islands, judging <laughs> from what he says. I chained <laughs> Alison is in front. <laughs> oh, guys. Big more hens. Or oh, is it cute? Mm. Hang on. I can't see. I think mm. it's more hens. I think I'm tired. The little dinkles. I only gone on the train tracks. Naughty birds. Can't see you on the camera. The yeah. foliage. Here's mum. Yeah. So there's one of the babies. Oh, there we go. Come yeah. on. There's the other one. Oh, it's running, it's running. Oh, that was cute. Oh, there's three. There's four, five. Oh, yeah. A little nest of them over there. Oh, that might be mum. That might be dad. That might be mum. Oh, look at that. Coming into the water. Ahead of the I'm going to 
you see these? But they are like a bright blue. Dragonflies. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, my filming skills are. Oh, actually, are these mayflies? I have not got no, enough knowledge. These are dragonflies. Oh, cool. I'm um, sorry, I can't film them fast enough. You got the best stationary picture I could give you. <laughs> the mayflies come out in May and June month. All right, all right. <laughs> you know, two minutes ago she was telling me how flipping smart I was, and now she's giving me grief. Always. Oh, someone has to. <laughs> I've got this on close up. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so I've just turned around and it was like, your face was sort of like. <laughs> I enjoyed that. Ruth, how do you feel about it? <laughs> not happy. Not happy <laughs> Okay, so it's just oh my god, Ruth, you're in huge focus now. Oh dear. Hang on, let me take you back down top. There's Ruth. So we were just discussing how we're trying to figure out how to flip the camera on our phones. But let's face it, she's a bit of a tech whiz. I certainly am not. So I'm going to do the manual. Yeah, I know it's got like a really nice sound to it as well mm -hmm. from behind you. I'll go off to this side because. Yeah. The only problem with nature is people. Mm -hmm. Flappies are like they're doing the same thing as we are just walking around, but it's same time it's like, well. I'm a bitch. We find somewhere and hang out. That would be nice, wouldn't it? We could just like have a picnic table. Like, yeah, where people couldn't get to you. Yeah. So they can't walk past you, they can't overcrowd you. Me and Ruth are being very unkind to the rest of the human race again. You're being antisocial. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, We're trying. <laughs> very, apparently.
sky behind. That is so cute. I think this is sort of like the more inspirational piece I've seen. Ruth is not looking very, look at her, look at her. Hi guys, I'm just coming in with a little bit of audio over the top because I had to wipe out all the audio for this entire section. It was so noisy inside the garden section of the garden centre part. I've not been to this place before. Ruth was giving me the tour but they had some lovely plants and judging on the video I purchased a few. And they are on my windowsill doing really really well. Anything that's like apothecary bottle green ferns, plants, that sort of thing, potion bottles, is all good by me. Anyway, I'll let you take a look at the plants, I do try and show some of the prices and stuff, they didn't seem to have a problem with me filming in there, but again, like me and Ruth have said, very nervous about doing this, I'm not used to filming out, so it's a bit rough and ready, but I'll leave you with it. guys just interrupting again I just wanted to say a big thank you to Ruth for taking me out for the day it was lovely to see all these plants and to go and have a nice long walk and have some very high sugar and fat content on the food but that is what we had all day so and we did have a good walk around as you can see so let me know what you think of the content in the comments box below I'll leave you to it again for a bit
Hi guys, so at this point we are actually coming to the end of the video. I just didn't think it through and how I was going to end it. So obviously me and Ruth went and paid for our items and then left and went back to hers and dropped stuff off and had a look at her garden and stuff like that. But I didn't vlog any of that. So I'm going to say my goodbyes now and I will work on my endings. <laughs> Definitely. I hope I see you again in the next one and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment and a like. See you again. Bye.